So, what do we know about the S25 Ultra? Well, uh, we know it's going to have the Snapdragon, at least here in the United States. I don't know if you're watching this. We do have a lot of viewers outside the country and listeners to our podcast outside of the country, Southeast Asia, uh, India. In your part of the world, I don't know what, what CPU it's going to have. We've heard reports it's going to come with an Exynos CPU in some parts of the world. We even got a report it might be MediaTek CPU because Samsung can't get their crap together when it comes with uh, to these uh, Exynos CPUs. But here in America, you we're going to have the Snapdragon 8 Gen 4, which is a whew, sigh of relief. Not like they were really debating, but um, that's good news. We know it'll be top of the line everything, right? It's got Wi-Fi 7. It's going to have latest, best cameras they can offer. All that good stuff. I have a bunch of RAM. Nice, beautiful display. Now, it'll have the S Pen. I'm talking about the Ultra. S25 Ultra. Now, we I've known and I've expressed this fact, a uh, rumor that's essentially a fact. The cameras, it's going to see a, a complete redesign. The So it's not going to look like this current setup, like this S24 Ultra. Cameras on the back are going to be different. So they're going to redesign the look and feel of the device, starting with the camera setup on the back. Now, they're probably still going to have these five cameras with these five sensors on the back. They're just going to look different, right? So I don't know if they're going to do this little teardrop design. I don't know. Uh, uh, down the left side, I don't know if they're going to change it to the right side. They might even do it all, all across, right? Kind of pixel style. I don't know. But what I do know is that it will look different on the back. We got word today that it's not only going to look different on the back, but it's going to look different all together. Um, we got word today that they are doing away with the square design. Well, not square, rectangle design. They're doing away with the sharp right edges, 90 degree, 90 degree angle edges, and they're going to make it a rounded device. So what does that mean? What does that mean? What does that uh, look like? So what they're essentially going to do is make it look just like the S24 Plus, just bigger. So it's going to have rounded edges, still going to have the S Pen. I have seen some people online saying, well, the S Pen is so close to the edge. How are they going to fit S Pen in there if it's rounded? It's going to have the S Pen. Trust me. It would not be an Ultra, an ultra if it did not have an S Pen, right? This is their essentially their note line transformed into a Galaxy S series, so it's going to have the S Pen, but it will be rounded. I was looking for S24 Plus on the on the um, table, but I'm recording with it. So it's essentially going to look like like this, right? Now, I'm not a nothing phone, but, but how rounded the edges are. It's going to be rounded, not squared. So... I'm looking forward to that. I don't mind the uh, rounded edges. I mean, excuse me. I, I don't mind the sharp edges, the the 90 degree angle edges on the S24 Ultra. However, I think I look forward to a rounded design. Is it's going to be flat all the way around, and it's going to have a flat display on the front and a flat back. Um, so I, I, I look forward to that. I, I think that's a good sort of redesign. Um, although it has been traditionally not many other devices uh, that are this sharp with uh, uh, this sharp edges, 90 degree angle edges. Um, so it's, it's easy to pick out. It's easy to spot out in the wild uh, what phone this is. But um, it's essentially, look, the S24 Plus has a 6.7 inch display. S24 Ultra has a 6.82 inch display. Now, I believe they're gonna bump it up to 6.9. I think, I don't know, but I think they're, they're going to make it a tiny bit bigger just to make that size difference a little bit different. Because if you have a 6.8 inch display and a 6.7 inch display, and they both have rounded edges, 
They're essentially going to be the same device. One's going to have an S Pen. So I think they're going to try to differentiate the two models a little bit differently, try to separate them a little bit. Remember, the Ultra model cost is significantly more as well. So they want to basically solidify that price increase, right? Um, of you're getting something bigger, better, bolder, stronger um, than something that's 0.1 inches smaller in size, right? And just 0.1 inches bigger and an S Pen with it does not um, does not incorporate or is not okay with just, with a $200 price increase, $300 price increase, right? You're gonna need something a little extra, so I, uh, with some icing on the top, a little 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 uh, beef up the um, the difference between the two. So S25 Ultra gonna have a new redesign, cameras on the back, look, and then a rounded device language instead of the square or rectangle device language that it currently sits at. So that was our uh, S25 Ultra news. Now, uh, where did I get this from? Where do you where do you think the number one leaker for Samsung devices, Ice Universe on Twitter or X? He's confirmed 100%. S25 Ultra will not crush the palm again. And he threw a picture in there. I don't know how he does this. He put a picture in there that I did not include. He showed a picture of his hand. He says, after using this device for 10 minutes, and it, and it showed, you can tell, uh, in his hand where he leaves, he takes his phone out of his hand, and there's like a big crease. You know, like when you have those uh, uh, those lines, uh, pillow lines, right? When you sleep on something hard, and you wake up, you sleep on something for like for hours, and you get up, and there's those lines in your face from the pillows or whatever, or the sheets. He had that sort of thing, but a freaking crater in his hand from the corner of this device a little exaggeration i don't know how somebody holds the phone with it jab jabbing into your palm like that i don't i don't hold my phone like that i hold it like this right so anyways he confirmed and essentially he gets 99 percent of the stuff he leaks becomes real so that's where i got my my source from <laughs> um now do we have pictures no do we have computer-aided design uh, photos? No. But I have this, and if they're going to go with a rounded design, they're going to stick with the same design language as the S24, S24 Plus with the same models, right? Um, it's essentially going to look like the S24 Plus, basically. So, just bigger. Which is a good thing. Beautiful freaking device. I, I was, I'm, I'm going to make a video this weekend. I, I went back to using my S24 Plus. Oh, man. What a badass phone. It is It is awesome. I absolutely love... You know what? And this is a good thing that Samsung's doing this rounded design, similar to the S24 Plus. I think you there is a great case to be made. If you don't use the S Pen, if you're not a big S Pen user, I use mine every day. If you don't use it that often, get the S24 Plus. It's essentially the same phone. In fact, in my case, I don't know how I can portray this in a video, I think the screen is better on the S24 Plus. More, the colors are more vibrant. Now, technically, it does have a higher PPI pixel density than the S24 Ultra. Um, so technically, it, it is sharper, but the colors just seem more vibrant and punchy. It fits in your hand perfectly. And I love the rounded edges. Um, so yeah, if you're not a, if you're not a big S Pen user, meaning the stylist, get the S24 Plus. Specs are the same, same amount of RAM. You can you can spec it out. It has top line everything. Now the only thing it's missing is the S Pen and the 200 megapixel camera on the back of this device. But all the other sensors and cameras are the same. The 50 megapixel sensors are the same. The twin 50 megapixel sensors are the same. The 12 megapixel selfie camera is the same. So again. It does not have the S Pen, it does not have the 200 megapixel camera, but other than that, it's just as good. Now, I don't really use my 200 megapixel camera that often, all right? So you gotta think about that too. How often do you use it? Now you have to manually select it in the settings to use that 200 megapixel camera. Normally when you're taking a picture, if your kids are running around, 
a dog, whatever in the backyard, you just pick, take your camera out and take a picture, right? You're not having to fumble through the settings and everything. So I think the S24 Plus is cheaper, displays better. Um, you cannot lose. You cannot lose with the S24 Plus. In fact, little teaser might be in the running of my phone of the year uh, at the end of the year. The S23 Ultra won my phone of the year last year. We'll have to see what devices uh, towards the end of the uh, end of this year are in the running. All right. Speaking of running, let's do the drawing. I got to get out of here. There you go. Just like Barbara did right there. Okay. So uh, we'll do it here in just a second. Um, we're going to run a drawing. We have I have two drawings, right? So check this out. Go for our first drawing. We're going to, uh, excuse me, the second one we'll do right now, but let me get tell you what our first one is. Go to eSimStudios.app, eSimStudios.app, 